Shalom and welcome to another in- installment of Apostles of GMS giving all praises to Yahweh Hashem Shai. Today's topic is going to be entitled The Name, the Laws, and the Fulfillment of Prophecies. Now, what I want to do is I want you to get me the Apocrypha and I want you to go to Second Ezra, the first chapter, and I want you to read that whole chapter, and we're going to kind of, kind of stop and you know speak on it. And then we're going to go into the topic, which this is part of prophecies anyway. All right, go ahead, Ak. Uh, this is the book of uh, Second Ezra, chapter 1, verse 1. The second book of the prophet Ezra, the son of Zarias, the son of Azarias, the son of Helkias, the son of Sedemias, the son of Zadok, the son of Akitab, the son of Achaias, the son of Phineas, the son of Heli, the son of Amarias, the son of Azai, the son of Merimoth, the son of Arna, the son of Ozias, the son of Boreth, the son of Abizai, the son of Phineas, Phineas uh, the uh, son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the, of the tribe of Levi, which was captive in the land of the Medes in the reign of Artaxerxes, king of the Persians. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Go thy way and show my people their sinful, sinful deeds. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, during the reign of... Uh the medial Persian Empire that was Artaxerxes, also known as Xerxes. And this had to be the, the Xerxes that you saw in the movie 300. I don't know if there was a line of Xerxes, but he was one of the, he was one of the main ones. Because you had uh, Darius and then you had Xerxes and he became richer than, than them all. So that had to be the... That had to be the one. Uh, verse 5. I'm sorry, verse 4. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Go thy way and show my people their sinful deeds and their children their wickedness. Yeah, that, the prophet was supposed to sh- show the children of the, of the Lord their wicked deeds and their, and their sins. In other words, that they're breaking the laws, that they're going off, that they're not following the Most High. Which, that's exactly what we're doing. Go ahead. It says, and their children, their wickedness, which they have done against me, that they... Their children, their wickedness. You got these uh, Israelite young women, especially the tribe of Judah and Benjamin. I mean, they're super wicked. You know, they got a thing where they wear jeans and they cut the jeans up. And that's, every, uh, every young woman got that. They get jeans and they cut, they cut holes all up in the jeans, man. And some of them just cut a line straight down the front of their pants, and you can see their legs from their hips all the way down. Is that supposed to be righteous? Huh? Then you got the, the young men. They got their pants dropped down, dropped down the, the side of their ass, or dropped down, you know, past their damn ass cheek, and you can see their drawers, man. And then you wonder why these Edomite cops blow them away. These Edomite cops blow you away because they do hate you and they're racist, man. They see a nigga, they want to kill a nigga, man. But they need an excuse to kill you. You flinch the wrong way, you know. You jump up in the cop's face. A cop's going to lo- lose it and he's going to kill you, man. He gonna, he, he's either going to beat the shit out you or he's going to kill you, man. Because when he, when he, when he, when he um, goes out on his tour... He's looking, he's, 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 he's got hate in his heart for you niggas, man. Because of the shit that you do and the, the bad attitude that you have. All right? Go ahead. Can I add to that real quick, Apostle Taha? Like that new thing that happened, I guess, whatever with the, um, what was that, in Florida? Or was it out, you know, and the cop was uh, wrestling that nigga. It was actually in, in, uh, out there in uh, Texas. Texas, Yeah. You know, uh, they had the pool party. They was in the Edomite neighborhood, and I guess the pool party got out of control. And I already know what happened, man. You the little monkeys, them little black monkeys. They was in the Edomite. That was like an Edomite neighborhood. Them little monkeys. They started acting. They started acting stupid and wild and shit like that. That's what happened. The cops came, and they probably was trying to get them to uh, um, calm, calm it down. And them little monkeys. He's probably mouthing off to the cops, acting like little monkeys. And that Edomite cop lost it. He grabbed the black bitch and was you know, mushing her head into the ground. Then the mother little young niggas came. 
it rolled up on the cop and he pulled the police up, man, you better back the fuck, you know? And then you niggas, you fucking niggas gonna get all up in arms over that. And then I, because I was watching it on the news earlier this week, and then, and then they showed the bitch that, the little black bitch the cop was roughing up. You could see that she is a, 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 a demon, man. You could see that she's a little disrespectful, little unruly piece of shit. She was talking, and we didn't do that, you know? You see that, man? And y'all, and you niggas all on the radio all week, y'all, they, they, oh, oh, yeah, you know, that's a child. You don't put your, you know what, man? Y'all ain't seen nothing yet, man. Because these cops, what's going to happen, they're just going to start opening up the next time. They're just going to start shooting you niggas. I'm mad. I'm mad that the cop didn't put a chokehold on that bitch and take her out, man. Then when the mother little niggas roll up, you should have just blew them away, man. But you know what? The cops are going to start doing that, man. More of you niggas, you little young coons, like Apostle Star was just talking about, you little young black coons and you young uh, Hispanic coons, man. The cops are going to start killing all of you just indiscriminately, man. Well, they're going to kill them anyway. That's their plan, to destroy Jake and to save a certain amount of them, like Mexicans and so forth, and East Indians and such. And when, when they do away with, when they, make, when they set up their new society, man, they're planning on killing you all off, man. You know, this is just a low level, man. There's going to be a time where they're going to start killing you by the hundreds and by the thousands, man. And they're going to make it look like an accident. They're going to rig, rig a damn building. And the building go up in the ghetto some goddamn way. And they're going to say, oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know, something, you know, something was wrong with the oil. You know, the line blew and electrical fire and burned you niggas up. Because they got to get you niggas. They got to kill you on a higher rate, man. See, this one at a time shit is too, taking too long. See, Esau got to devise, come up with a, a plan. To kill thousands, thousands at you in one shot, you know, and that's what their that's what their plan is, man. Cause you ain't the, you you don't you don't help society, man. You don't help society, man. All you niggas, you walk around, you talk shit, you start trouble, you sell drugs, yep. you know, you little stick up kids, you know, <laughs> you, you little you go on a little you rob stores and shit, you loot, you act crazy, you burn shit up, you know. So that thing is, you know, you know, like a, any, you do what you do with any infestation, you destroy it, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they're in their infestation to this to this society, even though this is the devil society, you know. Because yeah, we we work in this uh, this place in Bridgeport, uh, Connecticut, and um, there's one uh, house that we're working at. We're fixing the house up, you know. They're putting sheetrock and all that up. So then you got these little uh, 10, 11 year old Jake's breaking in, kicking the sheetrock in. So we got to go back and replace it. Then they then they'll come back and and break it again. That's why they got to destroy you. That's why this Edomite, the elite, they have a plan. They they're trying to find a way to destroy you and make it look like an accident, man. They just can't come out and do it. You know they got a way. Well, they got they got to get. Thousands of, of you at one time, man. Because you're not doing nothing. You're not contributing to society. Like I said, this is Esau society. The hell with this man's society. He going down any goddamn way. But I'm saying this is how Esau is thinking, man. He has to get rid of the vermin. And you and he and he sees you as the vermin, man. The uh, the undesirables. That's what you are. Undesirables. This is the book of Jeremiah 5 and 6. Wherefore, a lion out of the forest shall slay them, and a wolf of the evening shall spoil them. A leopard shall watch over their cities, and every one that goeth out thence shall be torn in pieces, because their transgressions are many, and their backslidings are increased. You know, just like you have a, a, you know, a, a, a leopard or a lion or, or anything. In, if, if, if you were to let those particular animals loose in, in, uh, in society, you know, among people, they'll tear you up. You know, so that's how these cops are, are watching over you. You know, the cops, the the National Guard, uh, you know, these different FEMA uh, uh, troops and all that. You know, so they they when they roll, they're gonna roll on you hard. Uh, this is back in our Second Ezra's one and five. Go thy way and show my people their sinful deeds and their children their wickedness which they have done against me. And that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing, and we got to do it more. We got to show you that you're going off, man. Like you got this black conscience um, movement bullshit, man. 
We done told those guys that they're going off and that Israel is away and they keep bucking up against us and bucking up against everything else. And they're going to be destroyed too. All of them, man. They're going to be destroyed. It says that they may tell their children's children because the sins of their fathers are increased in them for they have forgotten me and have offered unto strange gods. That's some uh, house of conscience guys too. Am not I even he that brought them out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage? But they have provoked me unto wrath and despised my counsels. Pull thou off then the hair of thy head and cast all evil upon them, for they have not been obedient unto my oh, law. Ramla, yes. Apostle, can I say something? That's what we're talking about. That goes right on what we're talking about. Uh, bring now uh, all evil upon them. That's what the Most High is going to do. That's what he's doing. That's why you young black and Latinos are being killed by Esau. And more you're going to be killed, like Apostle Taha said. You niggas ain't seen nothing yet, man. You think 70 AD was bad, man. Esau, and that was Esau's and the same Edomite, they're going to do it again. But this time they're going to make 70 AD look like child's play, man. That's the prophecy, man. We keep telling you, more of you niggas are going to die, man. More of you niggas, your children, your young, these young black and Hispanic kids, yep. you Native American kids out west and all on the reservation, y'all going to get it too because y'all little monsters too. And y'all follow right behind Judah and, and, and Ephraim. Out there on the reservation, y'all doing, they doing the same shit. I know because I've been there. On the reservation, the little motherfuckers, they out there with their pants hanging down. They got gangs on the reservation selling drugs, crystal meth. They doing the same shit. Them young Gadite girls, they running around being little hoes and sluts, popping everything in sight. They go into town off the reservation and they, and, 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 and they uh, freak off with them Edomites for drinks and shit and drugs. That's why they're going to be exterminated, man. The vermin of Israel is yeah. going to be dis exterminated, man. They're going to be exterminated. And Esau is going to do that, man. Esau has a plan to destroy you vermin, to destroy you undesirables in Israel. And even if you're decent, man, if you're a Baptist, you know, you got a nice job, you're still an undesirable, man. Yeah. And you must be destroyed. You're vermin, man. You're undes the undesirable, man, because you're pushing this, you know, white Jesus bullshit. That's right. I got a scripture, uh, Genesis 35 and 4. And they gave unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hand and all their earrings. I'm sorry. I'm, no, I'm, I'm jumping, jumping the gun. I'm jumping the gun. Because cause that was a fourth verse, uh, Genesis 35. But, but prior to, to that, they were following these strange gods. And that's in the second verse, Genesis 35 and 2. Then Jacob said unto his household and to all that were with him, put away the strange gods that are among you and be clean and change your garments. So you got these guys that are pushing that black consciousness movement and that back to Africa comedic bullshit and you're dressing like them, man. Them Hamites over there in, 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 in Af so-called Africa, they ain't dressing like that. They're wearing uh, business suits and all that. Or either they're butt, butt ass naked. They one or two things. They're dressing like Esau or they're butt ass naked. With a goddamn spear in their hand. So here you here you guys in America, you Israelites, you dressing with that Af you wearing onks, you dressing that dressing with that African attire, man. Do you were doing that? Back during the time of Jacob. And it was Jacob that said to put away your strange gods. And uh, and it says, and be clean and change your garments. And then, see, you have a philosophy. But with that philosophy, you're going to wear the ankh. And you're going to wear these different African hats and all that. You're pushing that heavy. And all of you that are doing that, man, you're going to be destroyed. Yeah. Okay. I got a quick precept. This is Jeremiah 2 and 11. Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. I got a precept too. Uh, second, right back in Ezra's 15. 
in one, uh, but the point is in four, right? Behold, speak thou in the ears. This is Second Ezra fifteen and one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which is what we pushing prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth. The prophets, right? With us. That's why we're the main guy. We're the only guys really prophesying. All you other camps, y'all don't y'all don't push the prophecies, man. All right? Say of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And cause them to be written in paper, which they were, the scriptures that we got, that we reading, that we bring into you right now. That we're reading out of right now. Right? For they are faithful and true. That's right. Not these other books that you niggas talking about. The coffin text and the Quran and anything else you got. Fear not the imaginations against thee that speak again. Uh, fear not the imaginations against thee. That's the prophets, the elect. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. That's us. That's that part is talking about the elect, the the, the prophets of the Lord, which we don't. And a lot of y'all speak against us. The white man speaks against us, but a lot of our own so-called people, you wicked two-thirds niggas. Your scoffers and stuff like that. Everything we say, you say the opposite of everything we do and say, y'all come against us. Just because it's us. Even if we're saying the right thing, y'all still not going in your heart, y'all might say your brothers are right, but you know what? I just don't like them niggas. I hate them niggas. Okay? And that's what y'all do. Every video we put up to scoffers, y'all right there. Right? For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Now them black conscious niggas, we told you that y'all are Israelites and instead y'all still come harder to try to debunk the whole thing of being an Israelite. Y'all gonna die. Like Apostle Tahar said, y'all gonna die, man. Son, that is gonna die, polite, shaka, all you guys, man. Umar Johnson, you niggas are gonna die. All that bullshit smart guy talk, that's gonna die right with you, man. Right now is the time for you to play games and talk your shit. Run around, have your debates, and, and hustle for money. You watch, man. So-called white man going to roll on all y'all. He going he gonna to roll on everybody, man. And he going to get you dummies, too. And another thing, being that you guys talk about, which, which, which we say this all the time, being that you guys pushing the back to Africa thing, why don't you go back to Africa? Why y'all here? That right there show you them niggas are phony. Let me tell you, Sarnetta ain't trying to move to no goddamn Africa. Sarnetta ain't trying to move to no goddamn Africa. I mean, you think Sarnetta thing about moving to Africa, man? <laughs> Come on, man. Polite ain't trying to move to the... Them niggas will go over there for a ain't visit. Ain't no money in Africa. Ain't no money over there. You nigga, See, no. They'll get on the plane because them niggas got money. They'll get on the plane. They'll go over there and visit. I'll give them that. They'll go over there and visit. And bring their camera just to show that they look. I'm over here and I'm out here in front of the in front of the Sphinx. So, I mean, I can see a uh, polite doing that. I think he, he did do it. Did. He, he did. did it already. I'm out here at the Sphinx. Yeah, but what? He gonna get his ass right back on that goddamn plane and come right back to New York. Yeah, right back to Harlem right in particular. Just like Richard Pryor did. I, I always bring this up. Richard Pryor went over to Africa, right? But the thing is, Richard Pryor had more sense than you guys. Because Richard, <laughs> Richard Pryor went over there thinking that he was going to connect and find himself. He made a joke about it. Yeah. He said, I went in the phone book and looked for a Pryor. I couldn't find one Pryor. Basically, the point he was trying to convey, it was a joke, but it was a truth. He said, wait a minute, man, I ain't no guy. Basically, Richard Pryor came to the realization that he wasn't an African. Okay, as simple as he was. But he said, hey, man, these ain't our people. Then he made a joke and mockery of him. He said, yeah, that me and my wife picked up an African that was hitchhiking. He got in the car, though. He had old deer. He said, that motherfucker stink. So he knew, man, in the spirit, this guy, he these ain't our people, man. But you guys, and you know what, man, you niggas, let me tell you about you niggas, man. You black unconscious niggas. You niggas in the spirit, polite knows that he's an Israelite. So, Netta, you guys know in the spirit, y'all guys know what we telling y'all is right. You know, y'all know that, you know what, man, we are Israelites, man. Because polite, you said it, polite, you said, y'all almost had me convinced. But the reason you niggas ain't gonna convert, number one, because you're not of the elect, but number two, because you're wicked. And you know that if you convert, you gonna you ain't gonna make no money. It ain't really no money in pushing the truth, Israel. <laughs> you know? You understand? 
Niggas don't want to, because niggas, the scripture said about Jake. Jake don't speak on to us smooth things. Because to be an Israelite and to push Israel, that means that a lot of you wicked niggas, if, if y'all convert to coming back to being Israelites, that means you got to stop all the other wickedness that you're doing. Because once you say, well, yeah, I'm an Israelite, then you got to say, but well, you I know what? They can't, yeah. they can't stop because the Most High appointed them to that. That's what you got to understand. The ones of them that can't get it, they're appointed, Stop. they're set up. The most I put it in their mind that they believe this bullshit, man. Yeah. Strong de delusion that they may believe a lie. Yeah. So they were set for the judgment, man. <laughs> so that, that's on them. And I got a scripture, Job 19 and 29, right? Be afraid of the sword, for wrath bringeth the punishment of the sword that ye may know there is a judgment. See, they're not going to know until it happens. When, when so-called the shit hit the fan and it don't stop, then they're going to know that there's a power doing that, man. Then they're going to get serious. Then they're going to consider whether, well, maybe, maybe we are. We are Israelites. That's when they're going to consider it. When they're making money and people are praising them and all that, they they, they, they fine with that, man. But as soon as that hell come on you, you're going to question your religion, man. You're going you're gonna to qu question your God, especially when you call on his ass and he don't answer you, man. And then you're going to consider that, well, maybe I am an Israelite. But then when you go to be an Israelite, don't come around us. Please don't come around us, man. That's right. Because we're going we're gonna to show you the door, okay? We, hey, you, you can't come and bow down to us and say we want to get I said, look, find it, find it your own goddamn way, man. All right? Yeah, I got a precept. Uh, this is the book of Hosea 5 and 15. It says, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. The day is uh, these, uh, you know, these uh, Israelites out here. Uh, till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. So that, that affliction is coming, man. That's also known as the time of Jacob's trouble. Like uh, Apostle uh, Carbon saying, the, there's going to be a lot of death, man. A lot of mass death, a lot of mass destruction, you know. And a lot of you, a lot of you niggas, a lot of you going to die, man. A lot of you, your, your, your women, your children, you know, you men. A lot of you going to die. A lot of you going to perish. And then that's when you're going to start questioning what we've been saying. You, you're going to start, you know... You're going to remember that we've been out there in the streets teaching the word. You're going to try to look for... That's what it means, seek my face. You're going to try to look for us, you know. You're going to try to come up to us and get answers. And uh, a lot of you won't get no answers. Because the Most High appointed you to, to that destruction. Uh, this is the book of Ecclesiastes 3 and 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment. That wickedness was there. And the place of righteousness, that iniquity was there. I said in mine heart, the Most High shall judge the righteous and the wicked. For there is a time there for every purpose and for every work. You know? Yeah, I looked up that word, uh, affliction. The Hebrew word there is uh, tzar, and it says narrow, tight. So, <laughs> the Most High is going to make your, your situation, each one of you niggas out there, he's going to make it narrow and tight. Especially when those, uh, uh, when martial law is declared and those troops, now you're really going to see that uh, uh, destruction we've been telling you about. And as you read on, it says, straits, distress. The Lord is getting ready to bring distress. You know, adversary, foe, enemy, oppressor. And that's in the form of those martial law troops. You know, the different, the MJTF, the ATF, the different police groups they have there. And then now that now the fact that they got uh, Jade Helm in the news, which is a, a code name for military exercise, they're doing those military exercises for you niggas, man. That's who they're doing it for. They're doing all these uh, trial runs for the hour of martial law for you niggas. You're the main enemy, according to this uh, so-called New World Order. So they, they're going to pounce on you, literally. And then that's that scripture where it says uh, Rachel weeping in the prophecy, Rachel weeping for her children. You know, because Rachel represents Israel. Rachel was uh, the wife of uh, uh, Jacob. All right? That's it.
All right, so this is the book of uh, back in Second Ezra chapter one verse eight. Pull thou, off, pull thou off then the hair of thy head, and cast all evil upon them, for they have not been obedient unto my law, but it is a rebellious people. How long shall I forbear them unto whom I have done so much good? Many kings have I destroyed for their sakes. Pharaoh with his servants and all his power have I smitten down. All the nations have I destroyed before them, and in the east I have scattered the people of two provinces, even of Tyrus and Sidon, and have slain all their enemies. Speak thou therefore unto them, saying, Thus saith the Lord, I led you through the sea, and in the beginning gave you a large and safe passage. I gave you Moses for a leader and Aaron for a priest. I gave you light in a pillar of fire, and great fire and great wonders have I done among you. Yet have you forgotten me, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Almighty Lord, the quails were as a token for you. I gave you tents for you for your safeguard. Nevertheless you murmured there, and triumphed not in my name from the for the destruction of your enemy. Come. There goes name. And uh, Nate, now somebody told me that one of them brothers that come to our camp ran into uh what's his name? Uh yeah, a son. And basically they were going back and forth. And um According to what you told me, that uh, a friend said, "Well, I'm gonna say this to you," and he said, "Yahweh Bashem, you know, Barakata Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai," or however he said it. Now that note that proves that he knows that the name of the Most High is Yahweh, because if we kept saying, "Look, his name is Allah," his name is Allah, his name is Allah, and we run into him, you think he's gonna say, "I'm gonna say." Peace be unto you in the name of Allah. No, because he know he knows that's not the name of the Lord. He knows the name of the Lord is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Else he would have ne never said it. He wouldn't. He wouldn't have left him with that blessing. And then you even said that with Nate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and then he, but then he claimed that. Well, Nate said in uh, what was that Revelation uh, three and three and twelve about the new name. Okay, well let's say there's a new name. We don't know it. Is Christ a new name? Why are you why are you saying why are you saying uh, Christ then? That's Esau's word, man. And that and that's why we believe that you sold out, man. Because the same thing happened with Comfy. If you check it out, and if you go to these new Comfy videos, that's like a funeral, man. That's like that's the, that, that's one of the, them boring ass. They're talking about an uh, issue. They're on an issue for a whole. What a, I don't, I'm still, I'm still confused, sir. I'm still number woman, old fat black woman. Nothing. I'm still confused. If I got a scab and I peel it off in a little drip, is that an issue? And then you can see, comfy like he's like, oh boy. You can you can see like, oh, well, this is fucking bullshit. So I got I got to deal with this shit. You know, he ain't got no. The dudes that are in there are docile and weak. They look fucking weak. They look docile. The producer can put it up. I mean, I'm not. I, maybe, maybe I'm. Maybe I'm putting work, something in my mind. That that's a dead. That's a dead. Edomites are livelier than that, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so called. Yeah. That's a congregation of the dead. Just, just yeah. like, just like the apostles said, man. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> I was gonna say brother, but I'm gonna say apostle. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, the woman were all fat and, yeah. you know, all dismal looking. And you got Ariar sitting there like he's already dead, you know? And Shaw just looking looking simple as he can be, man. And then you got uh you got them guys that got guy run over with the mic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still confused, sir. If I have a scab and I peel the scab off and there's a little bit of liquid there, is that a running issue? No, no, yeah, no, sister. No. All right, now I'm not, not, not going to answer. This is the last time I'm going to give you an answer. I said, that ain't nothing but an old black church from down south, man. <laughs> that motherfucker is dead, man. Look, do me, Hey, do yourself a favor. Don't put no videos up on YouTube. Ain't nobody going to come to your school, man. Hey, it says the children, of, the children of Israel were lively, man. That's a dead, that's a dead house of the dead, man. That's a house. That's the house of the dead, man. It's fucked up, man. Hey, and Nate. But, but that's what happened. As soon as he sold out, which everybody knows, he sold out. Even Nate knows that. And Nate is a sellout. Nate should know he's a sellout. His damn self. 
But the number one thing that they did when he sold out, he couldn't push that name, man. He couldn't push that name. So here you go, Nate. You you can't push it. So you had to concoct this story. Well, there's going to be a new name. Okay, well, then you know what you say? You'll say, we're talking about the Most High. We don't know his name yet. The Most High is going to give us a new name, and we're waiting for it. No, you keep saying Christ. So you're praising Esau, man. That's all, you, that's all you're doing. You're praising Esau. Yeah. And Nate, you are a demon. And Adon, the Lima, he was told about you come back to the old story. We don't know the name, we don't know the name, but then you saw that brother and you saluted him and you how about him, how was shy. But when Nate saw you, didn't he salute you? Three he years. didn't say as Salam Alaikum, no. right? Man. He didn't say Hamdillah, Hamdillah. He didn't say that, right? Nope. And the brothers of God. Oh, he didn't say Yahweh. Yeah. Praise no. Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. I ran into the nigga on He didn't the, say you're high or you're shy. No, no. I, I ran into you nigga on the number four train around 14th Street. We was in there. Then when we got to, you, you rolled up and you rolled up on me, caught me by surprise. Shalom. Rakah. Elder Rakah. Shalom, brother. Yahweh. Shalom. Yahweh. Shalom. Yahweh. You could You gave me a. That's that, that's the first thing. That was the first thing came out of his mouth was the salute. He he didn't say brother in the name of Most High and uh, Christ, but you said Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Baraka on the damn four train in front of everybody. Then when we got to Forty Second Grand Central, you you made pretty much made me get off the train, and we started talking, and went upstairs. And at the end of the hole, and after you talked to Apostle to her on the phone briefly. About 30 <laughs> a couple of seconds and then me and you stood there for like another damn hour talking then at the end of the whole conversation and the brothers of car which we'll be at the camp later was my witness we were both there then at the end of the thing right before leaving you said look brother I know the name I know this is what you said and I know you lying to your congregation you didn't say this Hold up. isn't there a law against lying yeah you're telling people to keep the law and he's lying his black ass off, man. You a lying nigga. And the brothers of car was two of us. Now the scripture say two or more in my name. Yeah. It was myself and the brothers of car, the young officers of car. And you saluted both of us, saluted me and saluted him. Then you said, Look, brother, I know the name of the most high is Yahweh, and I know his son's name is Yahweh Shai. And I teach I do teach my congregation that. That's what you said to me, man. Now You'll say, well, it's my word against your word because, of course, them zombies are going to believe you. You know, me, I'm just a nigga in GMS that ain't right nowhere in your eyes, so your congregation ain't going to believe what I'm what I'm saying. But you know what? Y'all about Shimmy, I wish I know it's the truth. That's what you said, nigga. You, 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 so you said that to me and the brother, and then afterwards you go right back to the madness, right back to the, to the lies, man. That's why Nate, you man, you ain't you ain't right, man. You you ain't right. You know what, man? I I don't think you a man of the Lord. And, I, and that day when I saw you, and I, see, I'll tell the truth. At that time, I was happy to see you, and, and 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 in my mind, I was thinking that maybe you might be a man of the Lord. Maybe that's why the Spirit had us run into each other. Yeah, but a guy yeah. that claims every third word out of his mouth is keep the law, keep the law, yeah. keep the law. This is a law right here, man. And you and you and you made a statement that these guys down in Jamaica, GMS, that they that you said that them guys are teaching that you don't got to teach the law, but both of them had beards on them, on their faces, man. It says uh, Leviticus nineteen eleven, you shall not steal, neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another. Uh -oh. So so that's the law right there. You keep pushing. You you keep saying that if you don't keep the laws, you ain't gonna make it to the kingdom. Well, guess guess what? Guess what? What you did with uh, uh Apostle uh, uh um, a uh, Rakar? Um, you lied, man, and you dealt falsely. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got another law that you uh that you break. Uh, this is the book of uh, Exodus twenty three and thirteen that says. And in all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect, and make no mention of the name of other gods. Like this uh, Christ, that's another god, all right? You know, the, your uh, 
greeting, your salutation, that's you're praising the name of another God, this Christ. So that's in violation of this law. And make no mention of the name of other gods, neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. So you're always talking about the law. How come you don't follow that law? I got a quick one. This is uh, Colossians chapter 3, verse 9. Lie not one to another, seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. All right, so I'm going to go back to uh, Second Ezra chapter 1, verse 16. Oh, you got something? Just before you read, oh, man, the, the cover came off. Oh, let me see. Uh, hold on. I'll sit out here, but I'm just reading real quick. Let me Testing. Okay, it's on. Um, okay, uh, being that we're talking about Yahweh Shai, John, St. John 4, and... Um, I'm going to start at 23, 423, right? Because Yahweh Shai, when he was talking to that Samaritan woman at the well, she was lying to him. She lied to Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai uh, could read her spirit, and he called her ass out. He put him in and said, you a liar, woman. Okay? About people that lie. She tried to lie to the spirit of the Lord, which the spirit of the Lord was working through Yahweh Shai, and he exposed her. Just like the spirit of the Lord got us exposing you, Nate. St. John... <laughs> 4 23 and it always man we always, the spirit always come we always end up getting on you man you know even if we get hey, like like one week we might be talking about okay we're gonna go into archaeology but somehow we end up talking about nate right <laughs> you know somehow nate we always end up talking about nate man okay because the spirit of the lord is angry at you man saint john 4 and 23 but the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. You see that? That's what we're doing. You ain't doing that, Nate. But the time is going to come, basically, where you ain't going to be able to lie and run, run your fucking bullshit scam. But the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. You see what I'm saying? All right? The Most High is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. You see that? And that you're not doing that because you're not pushing his name. You're talking about some, the most, man, Nate, this don't apply to you. Because you're not worshiping the Most High in spirit and truth. You talking about the most high God in Christ, and we got a new name on We're gonna find out that name in the kingdom. We're gonna find out that name. So everything you're doing is deception. So that this is not you, that uh you're not doing that. And you got all your uh, your followers out there on the camps and all that and talking about and putting videos up, and it's all about deception, man. So you breaking the law. So you talking about the law, you breaking the law, man. You breaking the law, and another law in the scriptures that you breaking. You got women up in the congregation, man. Don't the scriptures talk about that? The the, the scriptures said that if a woman is, if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at a home. They're supposed to be at home. And another law you breaking, you be sitting there with other men's women. You be having counsels with other. Remember that all that information came out. You be having brothers spying on their husbands and shit like that. Just yeah, he learned all that from the old school. He's just carrying the tradition of the old school. That's all. Huh. L- and them was doing that, man. They were having councils. They'll have a brother, right? And talking about, yeah, yeah, brother, we're going to bring you to council. And the, the brother's woman would bring him to council, right? She would, first of all, a woman ain't got no authority or jurisdiction to bring a man to council. If a man is dealing wrong with a woman... Guess what? The spirit of the Most High going to deal with that man. If a man has really truly got a woman that's so-called righteous and he's being wicked, the spirit of the Lord is going to deal with that man. Because that man is her Lord. Lord. At that point, that's left up to the Most High, to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I'll prove it to you. It's in the scriptures. Uh, 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 um, David. Uh, I forget the name of the one. Nabal. Nabal's wife. Abigail. Abigail. 
Nabal was a wicked ass nigga. That woman, she was righteous. She had a righteous spirit on her. What did the Most High do? She was stuck with that wicked ass nigga Nabal. The Most High killed him. I killed him. Right? The Most High redeemed a uh, Abigail, man. She was married to a wicked ass nigga. She couldn't leave him. So the Most High stepped in and said, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to kill this nigga. He going to drop dead. He dropped dead, and guess what? She became uh, David's wife. So the Most High is just, man. Yeah. So if you got a woman that's righteous, and she's with a wicked man, so to speak, that you got to leave that up to the Most High, because the scripture says that which is a law, being that we're talking about the law, Nate, the law says meddle not in another man's affairs. For whoso meddleth shall not be uh, innocent. And in the scriptures, it's a law, it's in the Apocrypha, it also says, in the law, we sent being that we talk about laws, right? Sit not at all with another man's wife. Least I'll be taken by her, right? So, so those are all laws that I quoted, man. You breaking all those laws, man. And the proof came out, man. Well, at the Passover, he put it up on YouTube, had the panel, you know, like us. They all follow us. Huh. Had the panel there, and they would teach. Had the little class. He was going in there, and he was, he was loving himself too. But before that, he had all them women up there. Were all those women virgins, man? Huh? Because you had some women that were grown women, man. Were all those women that that was there that you were trying to be uh the the what's the guy the love the, the that 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 game show. Chuck Woolery. Chuck, yeah, the black, he's a black Chuck Woolery, man. The, 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 love, con uh, love, love connection. connection love bullshit. connection. Are you trying to make a love connection? Was all those women virgins, man? Or if not, I'll say this. All the women that had men, because we know the majority of them had men. Okay, that's why I'm trying to get with, with other men, you know? <laughs> well, all those men that they had, that they, that they no longer deal with, that they had children with, are those men dead? Huh? Cause if that's if that's the case, brother, that's you going you were you were you were going against the law. Now tell me, make a video saying that all those women were virgins, man. Cause some of them was in their twenties, some was in their thirties. You gonna tell me that the woman just just popped out of the scene, popped out of nowhere, jumped off the planet, risk or something like that, and they were virgins, man? I don't believe that, brother. I don't believe that, man. Now if you make a video saying yes, they were all virgins, I said, guess what? I'm going to call you a liar. I'm going to call you a liar, man. Because you, you, you a known liar any goddamn way. So anything you, anything you say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take it that you're lying to me, man. Anything you say is a damn lie. <laughs> That's right. You're a liar, Nate. You're a goddamn liar, man. You, you're, you're a pathological. <laughs> you're a pathological liar, man. The only thing you did tell the truth on, that I believe, when you told me that, yo, you said, yeah, because we put you on blast. You say, yeah, man. Well, the part about me and my woman having problems, that was true. That's because I was working. <laughs> well, if that's the case, she wasn't a faithful woman. Because you working. Don't that bitch know you got to pay the bills? Huh? Women don't want to be with you because you don't work. Here, this, here a man working, and she, and she don't like it. Come on, man. Hey, your thing is getting ready to crumble, man. <laughs> You think it's getting ready to crumble, okay? <laughs> this is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians, uh, the 14th chapter, beginning at the 34th verse. Uh, well, let me start the 33rd verse. For the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Why is that? Because they bring confusion. Uh, didn't, didn't they have a woman class? Which, 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 my man, which, once again, you did tell me the truth. See, sometimes the truth will come out you. Yeah, mama superior. <laughs> you told me that. You should have never said nothing, man. You said, yeah, well, you know what? I did have a woman's class, and I let my woman and Barack Shaw's woman teach the class. It was just one day, and that was it. After that, you went off right there. You broke the law, man. He's supposed to be a, yeah, but he's supposed to be a scriptural guru. That wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, anyway, uh, let your women keep silence in the churches, and you still got your wife talking about uh, the garments, making statements like brothers are sparkling like diamonds, even though diamonds uh, diamonds in uh, reality ain't worth nothing. Well, first of all, what is your wife doing checking out other brothers, man? That's what she 
That's not shame face, man. That's wicked as all hell. First of all, that's all oh, hell, yo, man. Yo, 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 your woman is wicked, man. First of all, what is she doing to her brothers? Is, that's that. She got a Roman eye, man. Basically, that's like your woman looking at another. Like you on the bus or the train out in the street, and your woman is like, damn, that that brother over there, he blinging, he he chilling, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he. Um, He's he's dressed to the he's dressed to the nines. Look at that brother. He got look at them sneakers. Look at it. You know what I mean? You you'll smack the shit out your woman, right? If she do some shit like that, your woman's gonna get up there talking about brothers and sparkling like that. That means she's checking out other brothers, man. So that's wicked. That's not being shame face. Yeah, what that is? That's slack. That's slackness. Uh, let your women keep silence in the churches. I guess obviously. That law don't apply to her. Uh, uh, her title, by the way, is uh, Mother Sh- Shamara. Mother. And uh, Shamara, by the way, is not Swahili. It's not French. It's Hebrew. Yeah, for watcher. Okay, for watcher. Watchful mother. So I thought we didn't know the Hebrew, Nate. How come your, your uh, wife's title, her name is uh, Mother Shamara? So basically she's a grandmother. Yeah, basically. Uh, let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak. That's why we don't have no no women. A lot of you ask, well, why you guys ain't got no women in your your in in your thing? That's why we don't. All right. Like like yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a apostle elder to us, because we like doing things like that. We like to piss you off. And, and all story. right. And yeah, the main reason is because you know we're being I'm being uh, flippant, but the main reason is because it's in the scriptures. All right. It says, for it is not permitted unto them to speak. So that uh, uh, phases out the women, all right? But they are commanded to be under obedience as also saith the law. We're talking about the law. Furthermore, all right, pursuant to the law, and if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. So those women, if they got husbands, they're supposed to be at home and their man is supposed to teach them. They're not supposed to come to a class and sit down and have other men teaching them. That is out of order. That is wicked. That's the same shit that was going on at, at the main school. Well, and you had a lot of adultery. School. If you have a scab and you peel a scab over there, there's a little water there. Yeah. Is that the issue? Is that an issue of blood? Yeah, a husband. If that woman have a husband, he's supposed to teach her. That's just order, man. So when you have your women, your, your wife sitting there and another man is teaching her, that's out of order. All of a sudden, she might develop feelings for that, for that guy. Right, you, know, you know, women, they, function, they don't function on logic. They function on emotions. So they're like, oh, I like the way he teaches. I like the way he says his words. Then next thing you know, she starts developing a secret crush on that guy. Meanwhile, her husband's at home. Anyway, it says, and if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for women to speak in the church. So I ain't got to say no more. That, that, that's in the law, and it's a law that you're breaking, Nate. Can I say something real quick? Yeah, see, that go back to One West, man. Because One West was just a house of goddamn wickedness, man. It was a house of adultery. Like back there, you had, well, I remember Ariala, Ariala the Gadite brother, which he did a lot of wicked shit. He started that shit, that woman's class. But then I guess he gave it up. And then Mike, all the Benjamite Mike, he picked it up. And that dude would get mad. Remember, because we, we used to speak during the week, and we would come in, <laughs> we would come in, and we used to keep our camp stuff in that, the new, you know, your brothers, that's from the old one west. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, you had the two rooms, the main classroom, then you had the second room, which that, that was a classroom room too, but that was more like an office. But sometimes they have class in there. They have the woman class in there. And the two, I remember Tuesday, like Tuesday nights, we spoke at 125th. We'll come in, you know, and we'll make them because we would be bringing the camp stuff in because that's where the 44th camp throw our camp stuff. And oh, no, it was more. No, I'm sorry, it was a Wednesday. Wednesday night was the women's class, and then we would come in and shit, and we be starting, you know, yeah, you know we be you know making a little noise, we'll be packing the shit in, right? And then Mike would get mad and lose it. Look, brothers, what's going on, man? Look, you brothers, man, you making me just step in the class, man. And then like, look, look, man, I'm gonna have to talk to the Taha. I'm gonna have to talk to Taha about this, man. That's why that nigga's probably dead right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause he ain't teaching the word no more. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyway, I got a scripture here. This is Leviticus 24 and 10. The son of an Isra- Israelite's woman, whose father was an Egyptian, went. In other words, this uh, Egyptian man, pop, 
an Israelite woman on the other side. So when they went into the wilderness, you know, she had she raised up a son, which was actually an Egyptian. All right, he wasn't half Israel and half Egyptian. He was one hundred percent Egyptian, man, because you are based upon who your father is, because your father carries the seed. Went out among the children of Israel, and 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 this son of the Israelite woman. And a man of Israel strove together in the camp. That further proves that we're not. That's another reason why you niggas in the black conscious community will not go back to Africa, man. Because them Africans will kill your ass. They'll kill you. And, and furthermore, you get mad at us for getting on them. Them motherfuckers can't stand your black ass, man. Yeah, okay. They don't want you over there. Man, them, man I run into. Uh, down there in the Bronx, you got a big community of Hamites, man. And they don't associate with Jake. You know? They don't associate with Jake. They have their own businesses. They do their own thing. They don't asso associate with Jake over here in America. But you, you're going to get mad at us. And they talk bad about you, man. Yep. But you, you, you're going you're gonna to defend them against what we say about them. Because you're, you're stupid ass. Think you were African, man. But you know what? You want to prove me that you're a real Africa? Go back to Africa. Okay? It said that uh, the, uh, the the Egyptian boy and the Israelite Israelite man strove together in the camp. Eleven verse, and the Israelite woman's son blasphemed the name of the Lord, which that that's what you're doing, Nate. And you might actually be this guy in the room. You might not even be an Israelite, man. You might be a you might be that him that that Egyptian man. You are tall and you are black <laughs> and you are ashy. Man, make a movie about ancient Egyptian and put him up in the back. He'll look, he'll he'll put him next to polite man. Both of them motherfuckers look like a, real Egyptians, man. I'm not making it as a, saying it as a joke, but but for, fucking um, uh, 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 Nate look like an Egyptian, man. This dude is tall and black, man. Tall and black. He he might be an Egyptian, man. Fronting like he's an Israelite. He might be this guy right here. Him and polite. It says, uh, <laughs> and, the, and the Israelite woman's son blasphemed the name of the Lord, just like what you're doing, Nate, and cursed. And they brought him unto Moses, and his mother's name was uh, Salomith, the daughter of Debri, or Debri, of the tribe of Dan. She was a Danite. 12 verse. And they put him in ward that the mind of the Most High might be showed them. And the Lord, Yahweh, spake unto Moses, saying, Bring forth him that have cursed without the camp. Now the curse that he did, he cursed the Most High. He said, F your Most High's name. All right? Now if you're saying Christ, the same thing. You're cursing the Most High. You're putting the Most High's name behind you, and you're bringing Esau's representative of his God, which is Christ. And hold me on deck, uh, Corinthians, Second Corinthians. Um, bring forth him that have cursed without the camp, and let all that heard him lay their hands upon his head, and let all the congregation stone him. In other words, they whipped his head. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they whipped his head with them rocks. It says, and let all the congregation, and the congregation is talking about the men. And they didn't like the nigga any damn way, man. They didn't like the fact that you had Hamites. They didn't like the fact that this Israelite woman had a child by an Egyptian, man. By a, a, a Hamite, a Chemite, man. So they were, looking, they were looking for an excuse to snuff his ass out any damn way. And then the excuse came. And the most I said, yep, take this man out, man. They didn't say, well, you got to apologize. He blasphemed the name of the Most High, man. And what did they do? They whipped his head, man, with them rocks. As he... Okay, it says, uh, and all the congregation shall, uh, shall certainly stone him as well the stranger as he that is born in the land when he blasphemed, when he blasphemed the name of the Lord Yahweh, 
shall be put to death. So there's certain sins unto death. Blaspheme in the name of the Lord, Yahweh, is a sin unto death. Calling the name of the Lord Yah Yah uh, Yahweh instead of Yahweh, that's a sin unto death. Calling the name of the Most High Christ, that's a sin unto death. Calling him Jehovah, that's a sin unto death. Unless you didn't know, but then you have the you have the apostles. If you don't, if you're not sure, all you got to do is watch the apostles, man. The real apostles, man. Not I'm not talking about comfy. He's a fake apostle, man. We told you we broke down the name of the Most High and His Son Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai, man. It's not no goddamn Ahia and Yeshaya. And the word Yeshaya, the Most High Yahweh's name is in that word, man. The word Yeshaya is Yah for Yahweh, uh, uh, save or, or deliver. The, when you break that word down, the word is Yah, deliver. Meaning Yahweh, deliver. But, but they're going to say that his name is uh, Ahia. So they're going to be destroyed, man. All, this, all these guys that are pushing forth a false name, they're going to be destroyed, man. And that's what you're doing, Nate. And see, we're not even worried about you, Nate. It's your men. See, your men are going to be destroyed because of you. But guess what? They're going to be destroyed because they watched our videos and they're talking shit about us, man. They don't realize they're talking shit about the, the most high's men. Because you certainly ain't the most high's men. You niggas took the whole guy, you, you took the last four months off, man. And then the, la the camp that you got out, there's not. Last year you had a bunch of guys out there, man. This last camp that you had out there, you had a handful of men. So I suspect that cer certain of them guys don't even want to come out. They want to do what they want to do, man. You know? The reason why they're following you, Nate, is because you got your shit set up like the Roman Catholic Church. They all got the same garments. Does that make you right? Because if that was the case, you better get with the Roman Catholic Church. You like that goddamn liturgy. That's what you like, man. And that's what a nigga likes. Niggas like it when you dress up nice and everything's in order. You know? That doesn't mean you are of the truth, my man. Them wicked scribes and Pharisees, they were, they were dressed down to the T, man. They had them righteous garments on, man. They had the breastplate and the, 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 the tassels and the fringes and the phylactery. They had, the, they had the laws written on their doorposts, and they were wicked as hell, man. Second Corinthians 11 and 4. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus whom ye have not uh, preached, uh, or if he receive another spirit which we have not received, or another gospel which you have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. For I suppose that I was not behind the very chiefest apostles, but though I be rude in speech, yet not in knowledge. But we have been truly made manifest among you in all things. So that's what you're doing. You're preaching another uh, um, Messiah, another Savior. Um, verse uh, thir uh, 13. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Yahweh Shai. You know, and, that, and that's you, you guys. You know, because here it is, when you're out there in the public eye, you know, you're, you're uh, teaching the people about Christ and about, about Jesus, the Most High. And you won't teach them about the true name of the Most High and, and, and His Son, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. But then when you're behind closed doors and you run a, a, across any of the great millstone uh, members, so to speak, you know, you'll use the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, which makes you a hypocrite. That's what I was going to say. Makes you a hypocrite. Hey, Psalm seven seventeen, I will praise Yahweh according to His righteousness. And will sing praise to the name of Yahweh, the Most High. All right? So, hey, we're not dealing with Nate. Nate knows he's a devil. All right? He, he made the deal. He didn't give y'all none of that money that he, that he got from, from uh, the Rothschilds or wherever he got it from. Or one of the ag agents of the Rothschilds. You guys ain't got paid, man. So you better wake the hell up, man. And you better get from, a, uh, you, you, you better get from a, among that wicked nigga man that Egyptian you know the Egyptian of an Israelitish woman this is uh, Leviticus 19 and 12 and you shall not swear by my name falsely 
Neither shall thou profane the name of thy power. I am the Lord, Yahweh. You know, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So basically that's what you're doing, that you're profaning the name of the Lord. Yeah, that word profane from the Latin profanum, which means outside of the temple. That's right. So, uh, you know, that's where Christ belongs. It belongs outside of our temple. Because that's not the name of the Heavenly Father's Son. Um, Apostle Elitar mentioned about how you guys look beautiful on the outside with the garments. Well, this is what Yahweh Shai said. It says, uh, uh, this is the book of uh, Matthew 23 and beginning at 25. It says, Warn to you, scribes and Pharisees. Now, you had righteous scribes and Pharisees. All right? Scri uh, the, a scribe and a Pharisee was an office in Israel. But in that office, you had righteous scribes and Pharisees, but you also had wicked. Now, it seems like the wicked were, pre were predominant than the righteous uh, uh, scribes and Pharisees. There were more wicked ones than there were righteous ones, which prompted the Shai to get on them. It says, War unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye make clean the outside of the cup. <laughs> That's the beautiful garments that you wear. And of the platter... But within they are full of extortion and excess. And that's what that, uh, that IUIC, that's, that's the thing of extortion. Why do I say that? Because it's all about money with them guys. You know, you go on their website, it's all, they have a price on everything. You know? They got the, uh, fringes, they got a price on that. The, if you want uh, some signs, they got a price on that. If you want to get uh, Nate's videos, there's a price on that. And it used to be one time he would play a little bit of the video. He'd tease you with the video, you know, like a trailer, you know. And then you, for you to see the rest of the video, you'd have to buy it. So it's a thing of extortion. Reading on, it says, Thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanliness. Yep, that's right. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men. Like I say, going back to those garments and the liturgy, you know. But within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. So that, that's you guys, man. I got a scripture right here. Uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 6 and 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Nate is an unbeliever, man, because he sold his soul. Now, remember, they put up a video on YouTube next to uh, a, a, a Bunyamian from the HODC. And this was back years ago. This We're talking about 15, 16, 17 years ago. They did like a two-hour and change video on the importance of the name of the Most High being Yahweh and his son's name being Yahweh Shai. And Nate was getting up, jumping up off the chair, man. Look, you, he's getting on people for calling Christ and all that and Jehovah. And he said, his name is Yahweh. If the producer wanted to put that up, and that, that caught you out there, man. So all of a sudden you had to change your heart and then you said that we changed. Yeah, we sold out. With the judge thing, we ch we changed the doctrine, nigga. You changed the doc doctrine, man. You took the name, you 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 took the Most High's name out and the Son's name out, man. <laughs> so, like I said, we're not concerned about you and your wife, Nate. You know, it's high time for your zombies to wake up out of sleep and come out of that zombie headlock that you got them in, <laughs> that zombie death grip. It says, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship have righteousness with unrighteousness? Now, we done proved to you time and time again that Nate is an unrighteous nigger, okay? That's why he calls us bums. That's why he calls us dummies. That's, that's called ad hominem attacks. That's what that's called. Yep. He hasn't said, well, you know what that scripture they're going to, they're breaking it down wrong. This is what it means, all right? It says, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship have uh, righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion have light with darkness? And what concord have 
Now the word there is Christ, but we know that the word is Yahweh Shai. So you say, and what, and what uh, Concord? And Paul wrote this. Paul said Yahweh Shai. Esau put Christ in there. And what Concord have Yahweh Shai with ba Bal Bal Il, which is who's that to re say it like that? Uh, Bal -i Il. That's how you're supposed to say it, which is another name for the devil. Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel, an unbeliever? Because he don't believe in the Lord. If he believed in the Lord, he would be praising the Most High's name, like we do. Okay? Yeah, in the open, not, not, not in secret. You know, you would praise the name of the Lord in the open. Yeah, you know? I'm doing videos, making fun of the name. By the way, you spelt the name wrong in the video, the name in the Hebrew, the name of the Lord. Um, while you're getting it, I got a, this is a book of Revelation 3 and 8. I know thy works, behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. This is Yahweh Shai speaking. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. So for you to deny the Lord's name, that means at one time you had to have known it. For you to, to uh, deny it. And Nate's a perfect example of that. He, once, at one time he knew the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Now he denies it. Alright? So you had examples of individuals back there that denied the name of the Lord. That's why this is written. And has not denied my name. This is um, Second Ezra's 2 and 36. Flee the shadow of this world... Receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly. Read that again. This is um, 2 Ezra 2 and 36. Flee the shadow of this world. Receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly. Yeah, that's right. Testify uh, my, my Savior openly. You know, because the, the reason why we are praising the Lord's name is because you know, we're telling you through prophecy that the time is coming where the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to make his second coming. He's going to make an appearance. You know, he's going to crack them clouds, you know, and he's going to come through there with the angels in a spectacular manner. And, and what's going to be known is his name. His name is going to be exalted and praised as, look, this is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh who's doing these things. The same way that it was declared that his name was declared during the time of Egypt. When he brought us out of the land of Egypt, the great that great uh, um, um, uh, event that took place back then wasn't uh, given to Allah. The praise wasn't given to uh, uh, Baal or or any of those other uh, demonic gods. It, the praise was given to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That's why the nations knew that the Lord, you know, delivered Israel out of that, and they they feared the Lord at that point. You know, you, you have some yeah. Uh, in Romans, it's a uh, Romans, the first chapter, right? It's just like there's some main key points I just want to hit. Um, boom, uh, Romans one and sixteen, right? I mean, I'm just I'm gonna just kind of pop shot like the key verses, right? Rome, being that we were talking about, you're supposed to glorify the name of the Most High uh, openly and and be proud of being an Israelite. And look, man, that's our power. Like I told that nigga Nate, that's our that's our power source, the name of the Most High and His Son. That's man, something happened, man. You gonna call the most high's name. Let that madness pass by for a second. Uh Romans 1 16. I'm gonna right, hit the 16th verse real quick. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Yahweh. Nate, Nate is ashamed of it. Right? That's why he don't uh, want to push the name. That's why he's like Christ! Christ! It says Christ there, right? That's why we that's why we openly say, yeah, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, like the goddamn the uh, uh Lorna Dune head said in the video, them guys can't get through one sentence without saying that name. And he said it with it. That means that means he hates the name of the Lord. <laughs> Good. He hate yeah, but he said it with disdain in his voice. That's why that man's getting weaker and weaker. You hardly even see him no more, man. Them them guys, they 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 they're losing it, man. You know, <laughs> they're they're running they're running out of oil. A little bit of oil that, that they got is, is 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 burning out. Yep, and, it's, and 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 you know what? It's being manifest. The Most High has got you guys, man. 
It's been, you are running out of steam. Nate, you running out of it, man. Y'all losing it. And it's, and it's being manifested. And that's why some of them zombies are actually coming out of that catatonic state and leaving you, man. People have been leaving you, Nate. Now you'll say, yeah, well, guys are leaving you GMS niggas too. Well, look, man. We look. Those are wicked ass niggas, man. Yeah. Either they got kicked out or they left and they've been found out to be wicked ass niggas. Check all of them guys that left. On wicked ass niggas, man. Demons. <laughs> Crept in underwears. <laughs> the uh, pursuer to the book of Jude. That's right, man. That's right. Okay? Because my thing is this if them guys are righteous, where are they? I'll name some. Oh, no, no, no. Them guys that left, are they going out and on the highways and the God, byways? That's what I meant. So, so how are they righteous? Yep. If they left us and then they went out <clears throat> and still taught the word, word like they were doing, then you would have a case. <laughs> <laughs> them guys that left, they, 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 one of the reasons why they left, because they didn't want to come out, man. Yeah. They didn't want to go out in the, in the wintertime and when it's in the summertime, it's too hot. You got to be out there for the. A number of hours. I'm tired of this shit, man. Ain't nothing happening, man. And then they, in their mind, they didn't come out and said it, but the reason why they left, because, of, because they're saying in their mind, the Lord delayeth his coming. That's right. You know? Yeah, come. That's exactly what I meant. Them guys ain't speaking. I mean, uh, matter of fact, they didn't became scoffers. <laughs> they didn't actually became scoffers. See what I'm saying? But this is us, man. Romans 1 and uh, 16, which is what Paul said. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Yahweh Shai. And that's why we out there. Them guys that left GMS were ashamed of the gospel of Yahweh Shai. They got tired of being out there. They, they wanted to be down with the world. I'm tired of people looking at us, looking at me crazy and all that. For it is the power. For Like I told Nate, the name of the Most High and His Son of Power. For it is the power of of Yahweh unto salvation to everyone that believeth to the Jew first and also to the Greek which talking about the Israelites that know they're Israelites and the Greeks talking about the, the Hellenistic Israelites that were calling themselves Greeks like today if you got a Negro that says I'm an African American he will be considered a Greek today he's a nigger that's under the so called American philosophy well, hold up, brother. isn't the Greeks talking about the uh... The Greeks that put us in slavery in the uh, book of Malachi. Yeah, 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 yeah the Greeks. So you guys, yeah. and you took, you, and you took, the, you took the whole, you took the whole winter off, and then you came back out, and then we caught, we caught you right there. But I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give Naughty Nate some credit. He did a, he did a class, a couple years back, where he broke it down, and he showed you that the Greeks were talking about Israelites. As a matter of fact. Down there, the, the Atlantic, the IUIC in Atlanta, one of them brothers down there, he was teaching a recent a street street speaking, and he, he had one scripture where the word Greek was in there in the New Testament, and he said, those Greeks are talking about Israelites. And he broke it down, and he, he kept going, man. So what happened, what happened to my man up there, man, yeah. in the Bronx? <laughs> no, that's not Tackle, Tackle, but the other guys, Tackle, Tackleberry's down there in Atlanta, but they look kind of the same. They're both Levites. The other one, the, the, other one, the one with the right, that, that, that's him, yeah. Mosai, get up in your butt. That's that him. Hey, but anyway, he went off, so I saw it, and I jumped on it, man. Now, if I go off, I would expect you to get on me. Oh, the heart, and I come back and say, you know what, I didn't realize it. You know, um, you know, I didn't realize I broke it down that way, but I'm gonna correct myself, man. You haven't caught me out there yet, but I caught you out there. <laughs> and what you should have did was you should have made a video, or Nate should have made a video uh, breaking it down, man. Either you should have said, "Look, the Greeks, that Greek right there, no, no difference between the Jew and the Greek." It is talking about the Greeks of Malak in the Book of Malachi that put Israel in slavery, or it's talking about Israelites. In the Gentile state of mind, I went off. You guys didn't even didn't didn't even address it, man. So you guys are getting weak. Like I said, the bronze camp last year, you had a bunch of guys out there, man. You ain't got the same fa faces. You know, well, Captain Amos, I ain't seen him out there in a while. Them guys are slowly, I guess they're thawing out still. You know what I'm saying? I guess after the winter they got to thaw. Hey, they got to thaw out. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, check this out Romans 1 and 21 this is you Nate all the way and by the way 
uh, when Paul was talking about, he was talking about wicked ass niggas like you. That's what he's actually talking about. Years ago in one West, brothers would read this and apply it to Esau. It was talking about niggas. It was talking about them wicked Israelites that was up in Rome being wicked as hell. Doing what you're doing right now. Right? <laughs> because that when they knew the most high, so you knew the most high, Nate. Hey man, you know it shows, man, that Nate was n n wicked, nasty. Remember we went to the powwow at the Shinnecock? Oh, yeah. And man, it was him led by that demon, Rah Rahab, <laughs> and some Machban, and what's the other dude? He was a Simeonite brother. Zion. Zion, he died. He got he had a stroke years ago and he dropped dead. Damn. It was about maybe four years ago. And the guy was a, a you know in, in great health and shit. And them guys played off like they were all gadites, man. You know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then when we we went to you know to loot them, man, they 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 separated themselves, man. And Nate was down with that shit, man. Yeah. Cause you followed that wicked ass demon, fucking Rahab, that low life piece of shit. That goddamn scum rat that, that committed adultery with a, 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 a Barack's a woman. And he said, oh, I didn't know they were having sex. Motherfucker, after class, they were both leave together holding hands. And you, oh, I didn't know they were having sex. You are a demon, man. And that's why we get, that's why we get on the old, the old school at One West. Yep, the yep. old school turned into a fucking hollering house, man. <laughs> and I'm glad the most I broke that shit up, man. Yeah, yeah, there was yeah. nothing but wickedness in that school, man. Yep, yep. But, but Nate. Nasty Nate, dirty Nate. You was at the powwow and you you acted like you you didn't know us, man. You damn nigga. So you were never righteous. You was always a demon, man. You was always a demon. And now your zombies are beginning to wait. They 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 breaking out of that zombified that 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 spell that you got on their asses, man. And then down there in Jamaica they hit Galatians, right? Up in the Bronx is this old faggot Christian hit you with Galatians. Now Galatians three. The word there is bewitched. That's a key word right there. Because you got you, you to gotta spell over your men, man. But now they're, now they're growing up and they're waking up and they're breaking that spell, man. <laughs> hey, like that song. I put a spell on you. Well, that's the, the video that I made. I put that, I put yeah. that song there in the yeah. background. Which, Nate, which, oh, man, boy. And now, Pastor Todd and open up a can of worms now. Because you know me, the Gaddai thing, y'all went out to the Shinnecock powwow. Right, well, you he's were, not even a Gadite now. Well, now you're he's not a Gadite. Gadite. Yeah. All of a sudden, he woke up and be. You can change your tribes. Yeah. In midlife, you can tr change your chi tribe, right? Yeah, I guess. Shows so, you man. ain't shit, man. Right, man, they, and you haven't addressed that. I can see now. Once again, you got to do a video saying, "Okay, well, listen to hard and I'm keep talking about. I, yeah, 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 okay. Back in one west, I, I got, if he act stupid, I got videos of yeah. him with the Gadite regalia, a attire, man. with the with the regalia on. <laughs> with them, with them, he used to, used to wear. Look, man, yo, brother, you was more dead. Now I'm known for wearing my gadite stuff. You, you had me beat. You was more decked out than me. Okay, now you know, everybody knows. You know, I like to represent, but that's just who I am. I still sometimes I, I'm in cognito, but sometimes I still I'm real with my shit. Y'all still, you see me? I wear my turquoise earrings, my wampum shells. I wear my gadai stuff sometimes. When the spirit is on me, I represent my culture. <laughs> right? But I haven't changed. I'm not talking about I'm an Issachar right now. I'm still a Rubenite, right? But uh, you, Nate, I remember, man, you used to, man, used to wear the feather earrings, used to wear the headband. You, you had the, the warrior, the five-link warrior ch choker. Used to wear them nice eagle feathers, man, and shit like that, and you was gad. You were the uh, resident gadite. Every time one of the brothers are speaking, oh, look, brother Nate, you had the long hair, which I found out later which on. Which were weaves. <laughs> which were weaves. Yes. Which I didn't know. I thought that was really your hair. Because yeah, Rahab was rocking weaves too, man. Yeah, weaves. And, I, and, it, and it looked obvious. I said, well, what's, what's, you all right, brother? <laughs> and he got mad at me. <laughs> Extensions, man. Yeah, well, you guys, man. You guys, man. Okay, Nate. So you was a super duper gadite. You shy at be speaking. Look, Nathaniel, stand up. Uh, Nathaniel Allen guy. This brother is a full blood black feet Indian. Yeah, a full blood black <laughs> black black ass Indian. Yeah, I read standing up there and shit like that. You was gad. You always had on the gad eye stuff. You was always representing, man. Then all of a sudden I found out a few you Judah now. I'm like, oh shit, man. And then you, you okay, all you gotta do is do a video 
saying, okay, Tahan, I'm keep getting on me about, uh, y'all saw the video, Tahan, I'm keep saying, I'm a phony, because I said I was gad, now I'm Judah. Okay, address it, nigga, don't sweep it under the rug. Say, well, look, I thought I was a gadite, but I found out I was wrong. I'm right, simple, right? So, yeah, you know what? I thought I was gay, but I went back and I did some more research. On my, I talked to my grandmother, grandpa, and they said no, that my grandfather was not a North American Indian. He was actually a so-called Negro. So I, I, I did some more family research, and I found out that I'm actually not a Gadite. I'm actually Judah. So, yeah, them brothers was right. Tarn, I'm a right. Yeah, I thought I was gay, but I, but I found out I wasn't. You didn't even do that, man. You just mythologically, not myth. you just magically became a Judite now, man. So, but that right there showed that you're a, a, a deceitful nigga. And what we're doing is we're making mockery of you and we're laughing at you, okay? <laughs> we're making mockery of you and we're laughing at you. Why are we doing that? Hey, like uh, Element, we're making mockery of him and we're laughing at him and he got mad. Well, here's a scripture. Here's a scripture, okay? Luke 14, 27. And whosoever doeth not bear his cross and come after me cannot, my, cannot be my disciple. For which of you, intending to build a tower, saith not, uh, sitteth not down first and counteth the course, whether he have suffic sufficient to finish it? Lest haply, after he have laid the foundation, hey, Nate, you laid out all them camps, you got all them guys to follow you, put all them, open up them schools. And is not able to finish it, all that behold, we're beholding, it began to mock him, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. That's why we get on you guys, we get on all you guys that call yourself being the truth from one west and disappearing for whether it be two years or five years or twenty years, and then all of a sudden you pop out of nowhere, then we get on you and you get mad at us, man. You know? That's why we do it, because of this scripture. This, this right here is a fulfillment of, of, of uh, this, this is a fulfillment. We're fulfilling that prophecy. Yeah. Okay? We're laughing at you, and we're mocking you, all right? Anyway, let's get back to the Apocrypha. Uh, this is back in uh, the book of uh, 2 Ezra, chapter 1, verse 16. And triumph not in my name for the destruction of your enemies, but ever to this day do you yet murmur. Where are the benefits that I have done for you? When ye were hungry and thirsty in the wilderness, did ye not cry unto me, saying, why, why hast thou brought us into this wilderness to kill us? It had been better for us to have served the Egyptians than to die in this wilderness. Yeah, see, that's why you got that spirit, the spirit of that, our, our ancestors and going back to Egypt. That's them same guys, man. That's them same guys, uh, uh, Sarnetta and Politen them. That's that same, that's that, that's them same dudes, man. That same group of people that's coming against us because they want to go back to Egypt, man. You know, that's doing the same thing. It says, Then had I pity upon your mornings and gave you manna to eat, so you did eat angels' bread. When you were thirsty, did I not cleave the rock and the waters flowed out to, you, to your fill? For the heat I covered you with the leaves of the trees. I divided among you a fruitful land. I cast out the Canaanites, the Parasites, and the Philistines before you. Which are Africans. Right, which are Africans. What shall I yet do more for you, saith the Lord? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Thus saith the Almighty Lord, When you were in the wilderness, in the river of the Amorites, being a thirst and blaspheming my name, I gave you not the fire for your blasphemies. But cast a tree in the water and made the river sweet. And that's what a lot of you going to get for blasphemy in the name of the Lord. You're going to get that fire. It says, What shall I do unto thee, O Jacob? Thou Judah wouldest not obey me. I will turn me to other nations, and unto those will I give my name, that they may keep my statutes. Now, let's break that down. Read that part again, because a nigga gets stupid. <laughs> what shall I do unto thee, O Jacob? Thou Judah wouldest not obey me, I will turn me to other nations, and unto those will I give my name, that they may keep my statutes. That's talking about, that's, that's a future prophecy of Israel losing their nationality, so to speak, and coming back to their nationality. And that began with Cornelius, 
which Cornelius was a Israelite. He wasn't part of the famous uh, Corneli family, like uh, Barak said so many years ago. All right? It's, it's, it's talking about Israelites, man. And that's why they, and if you go to Acts, I think it's Acts 13, they got, they got mad at Paul for teaching the Gentiles, which they were Israelites, man. I'm going to get that in a minute. Go ahead, read that again, break it down, and keep reading. <clears throat> Verse, uh, this is 2nd Ezra 2, and, I'm sorry, 2nd Ezra 1 and 24. What shall I do unto thee, O Jacob, thou Judah, would is not obey me? I will turn me to other nations, and unto those will I give thy name, my name, that they may keep my statutes. Because in process of time, Israel was going to lose their nationality. They were going to lose their way, their religion, so to speak. And then when they, when the Lord, when they came back around for the Lord to wake them back up, He had to give them the name back. You know, just like us today, we didn't know the name of the Lord when he we were. Con, He did that with Cornelius. That's when it first happened. Right, with Cornelius, that was, was that was the beginning of it. You know, and those Gentiles that were following uh, the Lord, those Greeks, those were Israelites. You know, because the uh, the Jews had contempt for them. They knew they were Israelites, but they had contempt for them because of the of the. Uh, uh, um, because they had left the law, statutes, and commandments and went into the Greek custom. So they had contempt for them. So they treated them as heathens. So that's what the Lord is talking about. He's going to turn back to those people and give them his name. Because those Israelites were scattered among all those nations. Okay? It says, uh, Seeing you have forsaken me, I will forsake you also. When you desire me to be gracious unto you, I shall have no mercy upon you. Whensoever you shall call upon me, I will not hear you, for you have defiled your hands with blood, and your feet are swift to commit manslaughter. You know, and that's the reason why they were re rejected. You know, when you go, see, when, when, you, when you read it in the New Testament about Yahweh Shai and the disciples and the wicked Pharisees and the righteous Pharisees and the Sadducees and all of them, and all these people that were back there, they understood this history because it was, it was, uh, it was fresh back then. You had the Alexandrian Jews, which are Israelites that were in uh, Alexandria, Egypt. But then you had other Israelites that were called Hellenistas, which were Israelites that knew they were Israelites, but they were speaking a different language. And then you had the Hellenists, which were Israelites that were that just totally just forgot about the law, statutes, and commandments and went and did their own thing. And they, they were casted out as being heathens. But now the Hellenistas were coming back to, to, the, to the lost. That, or the Hellenistas, they never left. They, they basically just spoke a different language. It was, it was a Helen that... that the, Greek, the, Greek, the word Greek in um, uh, Galatians uh, 3 and, and uh, 28, Jew and the Greek. The Greeks were talking about those uh, Israelites that lost the fact that they were Israelites and they were coming back to being Israelites and they followed Yahweh Shai. That's, that's it. That's as, as simple as, as that. You know, then you had those Jews that were following the laws. They were following, uh, um, you know, uh, the customs. And, and some of them uh, um, uh, were, were repented and, and came to, to serve the Lord. You know, so they would, be, they would have been considered like um, proselytes. You know, because they left, you know, the, uh, like Paul. Paul would have been like a, like a proselyte. Because he was in, all into the, un, into the uh, laws, statutes, and commandments, you know, into that prestigious, you know, the name and the Pharisee, you know, and in in, in that prestige. But he said he counted all dung so that he may win Yahweh Shai. So he came and crossed over to the other side, you know. So uh, back in the verse 27, you have not as it were forsaken me, but your own self saved the Lord. Thus saith the Almighty Lord, have I not prayed you as a father his son? as a mother her daughters, and as a nurse her young babes, that you would be my people, and I should be your power, that you would be my children, and I should be your father. I gathered you together as a hen gathereth her chicken under her wings. But now, what shall I do unto you? I will cast you out from my face. When you offer unto me, I will turn my face from you, for your solemn feast days, your new moons, and your circumcisions have I forsaken." Why? Because you had defiled yourself, you know. And now you, you, you Israelites out there that are um, that are woken up to the truth, that know that you're Israelites, that are in these different groups like IUIC, ISUPK, GOCC, you fall under this category too because you're denying the name of the Lord. A lot of you are denying the name of the Lord, and some of you are, are, are teaching a, a, a wayward doctrine, you know, going off and teaching other madness, not teaching the truth. 
It says, I sent, uh, 32, I sent unto you my servants the prophets whom you have taken and slain and torn their bodies in pieces, whose blood I will require of your hands, saith the Lord. Thus saith the Almighty Lord, your house is desolate, I will cast you out as the wind doth stubble. And your children shall not be fruitful, for you have despised my commandment and done the things that is evil before me. Your houses will I give to a people that shall come, which not having heard of me, yet shall believe me. And, and it seems like it's talking about somebody else, but it's talking about Israelites that didn't hear of the Lord back then, that had forsaken their way, that, that were held as apostates or, or held as heathens or Gentiles uh, by, by the Jews that were in Jerusalem, in Palestine, in Israel at that time. To whom I have showed no signs, yet they shall do that I have commanded them. And that's why Paul was teaching those Israelite foreigners that they had to receive the truth or had to receive salvation by faith. Because they didn't hear of the Lord, but they believed as soon as they heard the word, they believed. Not by works, not by, by all the miracles, just by hearing of the word. Because that was the, what was going to bring back those Israelites from among those nations. Whether they were being called Greeks or they were being called Persians or Elamites or or uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Romans, you know, or whatever denomination or other person they were being called by, or nation they were being called by, they were being brought back to the fold. They have seen no prophets, yet they shall call their sins to remembrance and acknowledge them. I take to witness the grace of the people to come, whose little ones rejoice in gladness, and though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, yet in spirit they believe the things that I say. And that's what we're based. That's what we. That's how we believe. Something that we haven't seen. Like you got these guys in the black conscious community that say, "Well, where's the evidence?" And you know, give us the evidence. You know, it's not a. It's not based upon evidence. See, now they have a con conference on science versus versus mythology. No, what the hell is that all about, man? I mean, don't these guys, if they call themselves Egyptians, don't they believe in Amun Ra? Amun Ra, where's the evidence of Amun Ra? Huh? So now it's about science? See, the people are beginning to wake up to these niggas, man. They got to make up shit to get there. See, you got to come on a scientific level. Them, them, them guys are circle talkers, man. They talking circles. You ain't going to get nothing, man. And um, I'm, I'm going to see how big that thing's going to be. The only time you get a big crowd, you know, a big gathering, is when you got controversy, man. Because now they said it was a conference, but now they're talking shit back and forth to each other like it's the debate. Because niggas like controversy, man. You know? It says, uh, and now, brother, behold what glory and see the people that cometh from the east, unto whom I, I will give for, uh, for leaders Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Oseas, Amos, and Micaiah, Joel, Abdias, and Jonas. All them people that he mentioned, were any of them generals? Well, well, Moses, according to the history, he was a general of the Egyptian army. But when he became a prophet, of, of, of a spokesman of the Lord, or a leader for Israel, he was no longer a general in, in e Egypt. So where's that prophecy where it says, Behold, a general shall come and the people shall be gathered unto him. And his name shall be Yahana. It ain't going to happen, man. So, you know, getting on, getting on Yohanna, man, that thing that he got going is, is all bullshit, man. And that's going to fall down. And it says, Nahum and Abacuc and Sophonias, Agaius, Zechariah, and Malachi, which is called also an angel of the Lord. You know, so that's pretty much, you know, pretty much it. You know, so these people, as the elder apostle Tar just mentioned, these are the same people that was that are trying to go back to Egypt today. Because they were doing it back then. You know, that's why the scriptures say that the thing that has been is that which shall be. And that's the reason why history repeats itself. Because the same people come back and they're same lot. That's why it tells you in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians, the 14th chapter, that the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets. Meaning that if you were a prophet back then, you're going to be a prophet now. You know, if you were a teacher back then, you're going to be a teacher now. If you were an apostle then, you're going to be an apostle now. You know, if you were a nigger then, you're going to be a nigger now. If you were a false prophet then, you're going to be a false prophet now. You know, if you were a blasphemer then, you're going to be a blasphemer now. A thief, a, a, a liar, 
Whatever your, your lot was back then, you're going to be the same thing now in, th in this day. You got a scripture? Okay. You're going to be the same thing today because it's the same spirits coming back around. That's what the Lord said that, you know, in the 40, you know, in the, um, that this generation shall not pass or all be fulfilled. So the generation that was during the time of Yahweh Shai is now today. And that generation is, is here today to fulfill the, the uh, prophecy. And they're going to be uh, dealt with and they're going to be destroyed. That's why you see a lot of these children that's growing up today, they have no freaking manners at all, man. You know, when we were growing up, we had certain things that were taught to us and better than us. You know, so you, don't, you didn't talk to uh, um, the older people a certain way. You know, you had, you had respect for them. These, these, these young, these, these, these are nothing but, but a bunch of demons, man, out here. They have no respect f uh, for human life. <laughs> And that's why Esau uh, is killing these little some of these Israelites. That, like we said at the top of the program, that's why Esau is killing these young Israelites, man. I mean, gonna kill a whole a hell of a whole lot more. But the ones that's gonna get it worse, man. Hey, if I may read this precept, being that uh, Romans one and twenty one, back on Nate, because that when they knew the Most High, and we got the proof by way of the video, Nate knew that the name of the Most High was Yahweh. He told me that. They glorified him not as the Most High, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations. And their foolish heart, their spirit, was darkened. Yep, yep. Their heart, go back to the Hebrew word, lab, which means your spirit or your mind. Nate's spirit is dark. Well, he's a black-ass nigga already, but his spirit is, is black. His spirit is blacker than his damn goddamn face could ever be, man. Because what he's teaching, he's, he's trying to black out the name of the Most High. And his son, so he's trying to cut. Really, what he's doing, he's cutting. He's blocking the way of salvation. He's trying to block the way of salvation. He don't want y'all to make it, man, because the only way you're gonna be delivered is you gotta be calling upon the name of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. Nate is sitting up there teaching that that's not the name. That's we don't know what the name is. Yo, man, that's the most wickedest. Nate, you worse than Lahab, Yeshaya, you worse than Comfy, man. In my opinion, you worse than all them guys, man. You the worst. I mean, you you the worst of the worst, man. And personally, I, I retract what I said to you in the train station. I don't think you're a man of the Lord, all right? I don't think you're a man of the Lord. Okay, I think you. I think you're the devil, man. Why, why do I say that? Because um, he's an Egyptian. Yeah, Nate is an Egyptian. <laughs> he's a, he's a, he's a Kemite. <laughs> hey, man, you might just very well be. You look like one. And then, and furthermore, man, uh, uh, Yahweh Shai said, uh, now a lot of y'all get mad, right? Y'all get upset. Niggas get upset saying, yo, we call you the two-thirds. How the hell you going? How dare you say it? But Yahweh Shai said, you should know them by their fruits. Yahweh Shai said that, man. What's your fruits? Your works. Everything Nate is doing is wicked. So at this point, we got to do the math. How could you be a man of the Lord? How could Nate be a man of the Lord? I mean, come on, man. Look at him. How could Nate be a man of the Lord? A man of the Lord is going to do the things of the Lord, man. That's why that thing going to be broken up, man. Just like one West is break, broken up, and just like the HODC, the original one on uh, 126, was broken up after y'all kicked this out, man. That whole thing, got y'all became reservoir dogs, and all y'all niggas just went against each other, man. And, and this thing that you got going now, this IUIC bullshit garbage, that's going to be broken up. All right? And I got a scripture. Uh, this is Luke 19 and 20. I'm just going to read this verse, and you can read the rest of the story when you got time. And another came saying, Lord, behold, there, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. Now you read the above verses and the below verses he was talking about. This, that's you, Nate. You, you, you took the name of the Most High and his son's name and put it in a napkin and hid, and you're going to give it back to the Lord. What you think the Lord going to do to your black ass, man? Your hermetic ass. It says, uh, for I fear thee, and you don't fear the Most High, but you're going you gonna to know to fear the Most High because thou art an austere man. See, you're doing what the hell you're doing, all right, like an like a unruly child. Because you don't know the Lord, man. You haven't read the scripture in a while. Austere mean a mean man. 
When when your house shot come back, he coming back to put a foot in your ass, man. Thou takest up that thou laidest not down, and reapest that thou didst not sow, right? It says, and he said, and he saith unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, thou wicked servant. They're gonna call the Lord gonna call you a wicked servant. Thou knoweth that I was an austere man, taking that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not sow. Wherefore then gaveth not thou my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have acquired mine own with usury. And he said unto them that stood by, Take from him the pound, and give it to him that have ten pounds. We the ones that have ten pounds. All right? And they said unto him, Lord, he have ten pounds. For I say unto you, that unto every one that have shall be given, and from him that have not, even that he have shall be taken away from him. So it's going to be, it's going to be taken away from you, man. That thing going to be broken up. Some of them zombies are going to wake up and go back into the world. Some of them might be of the elect, and they're going, they're going to go out and set up their own thing and teach the right way. Hell, some of them might even come to us. So you're, hey, this is the spirit speaking through us, man. Anyway, with that, I want to go, I want to go into another topic. I just want to go to Acts, the 15th chapter. And y'all already know I'm going to go. Acts, the 15th chapter. And I'm going to kind of ask a question. Because you guys, I made a statement back in 2008 that James went off. And through the years, y'all kept, bring out the heart. you made that statement that James went off. James did go off. Okay? And then I even made two videos on it. And none of you niggas wanted to come in. <laughs> come on, you watch all. Hey, well, Nate said, I watch all your videos. Well, I made two videos back to back, man. One was called "Where well, Your Scoff Is" and is uh, Acts uh, fifteen and uh, what was the verse? I believe it was fourteen. I think I put it in there. I can go to it. Acts is Act fifteen the fulfillment of uh, uh, Amos nine and twelve. And so I'm still asking that question, man. What do I got to do? Come down to your camp and personally ask you, man. So you can make me out to be a bad guy? You know? I made a video, man. I know what the hell I said back, I believe it was 2008. I know what the hell I said, man. So my question to you is this. Is Acts the, third, the 15th chapter the fulfillment of Amos the 9th chapter? Because it certainly sounds like it, right? Paul even quoted Amos. It says, uh, right, I'm going to start at uh, 14. Simeon have declared how the most high. That's why a lot of you guys can't get, you're all messed up. Some of you believe that Cornelius is an Israelite. Some of you believe that Cornelius was an Edomite or of another nation. Acts 15 and 14. Simeon have declared, uh, this is, uh, no, 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 13. And after they had held their peace, James James answered, which was one of the apostles, saying, Men and brethren, hearken unto me, Simeon, which is Peter, had declared how the most had the first did visit the Gentiles to take out a people, I'm sorry, to take out of them a people for his name. That started with Cornelius. All right? That started with Cornelius. And then the Gentiles behind Cornelius. And when you look up the word Cornelius, the word Cornelius means seed. It said to take out of, out of them a people for his name. Now, didn't you read that in the Apocrypha? See if you can find that up in the middle where it says, I'm going to, the most I'm going to go to another people to give them his name. As soon as you find it, let me go. I'm going to read it again. Simeon have declared how the Most High at the first did visit the Gentiles, Israelite foreigners, to take out of them a people for his name. Read that scripture. 
Uh, this is uh, Second Ezra chapter one verse uh, twenty-four. What shall I do unto thee, O Jacob, thou Judah, what is not obey me? I will turn me to other nations, and unto those which which will I give my name, that they may keep my statutes. I ain't talking about other nations. It's talking about Israelites. Just like when you go to uh, uh, Galatians uh, three and twenty-eight, when it speaks about the Greeks, it's talking about it's referring to Israelites. All right. Read again. Simeon have declared how the Most High the first did visit the Gentiles, Israelite foreigners, to take out a people, to take out of them a people for his name, which he, which he started with Cornelius, and to disagree the words of the prophets as it is written. Now, when, when James made that statement in uh, Acts 15 and 15, what, what was he quoting when, when he made that statement? And to disagree the words of the prophets as it is written. What was he quoting? He said, as it is written. He was quoting Amos. So did Amos take place during the time of Acts? That's why, hey, that's why the most high, the Yahweh Basham, Yahweh ain't dealing with you guys, man. It said, after this, I, uh, 16, after this, I will return and will, re and will build again the tabernacle of David, which is falling down. He's quoting Almost verbatim, Amos the ninth chapter. And I will build again the ruins thereof, and I will set it up that the residue of men might seek after the Lord. The men is talking about Israelites, and all the Gentiles, all the Israelite, Israelite foreigners, so you can understand, upon whom my name is called, saith Yahweh, who doeth all these things. 18. Known unto the Most High are all his works. From the beginning of the world. In other words, you being delivered is predestined. That's that's in the book of uh, Ephesians. I, I believe it's one in five, and, and jump down to eleven. Matter of fact, go ahead and get that. It's, it's Ephesians one and four, and then jump down to eleven. Um, this is the book of Ephesians one and four to eleven. According as he has. As he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. You know it says before the foundation of the world. Before the world was even created, the Heavenly Father had chosen his elect already. Having that's predestinated, that's, that's the word. So how are we saved? We're really saved by predestination, man. By predestination. It's already said that, hey, the man that was on the cross... Didn't the cross next to Yahweh yeah. Shai? What laws did he keep? He didn't keep any law. He didn't keep no laws. He, he was, was a criminal. criminal, man. That's why he was condemned. But he asked the Lord, remember me in your kingdom. And the Lord, and the Lord Yahweh Shai said, today you shall be with me in paradise, man. He didn't keep no laws. Now, are we saying not to keep the law? No, you are supposed to keep the law, man. When you go to Romans, the sixth chapter, it says, do we, um, uh, somebody read it so I can get the right, the, the, the exact writing. Of it. Let's get the mic and read it, whoever got it. Yeah, I'm looking for it right now. It's Romans 6. Yeah, uh, Romans 6 and 1. Start at the top. Okay. Romans 6 and 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Yeah, so when you jump up and say, well, we're under grace, so I can commit adultery, I can do this, I can do that. No. Once you, you come in this thing through faith, and that's also in the apocalypse that you read, you come in this thing through faith. All right? Now, once you come in to this faith, you grow, you grow strong in the faith. You grow strong in the faith. Because in the beginning, the first year, the first six months, you're going to do a little, you're going to go off, man. And then when you get deeper into this thing, you're going you're gonna to become... Like it says in Romans 8, mortified, your, your, your flesh shall become mortified, man. Meaning you're going to be dead to all that lust out there, man. You know, when you're a young guy, you in the truth, you still want to go to the club. When you hit a certain age, you ain't thinking about no goddamn club, man. You ain't thinking about ha having people, like, you know, guys that, that that's their first year in, they got friends in the world, man. They hang out with their cousins and shit and, they, and their uncles and... And, and, you know, and their and friends, man. 
Then they go to family reunions. Hey, if you in this truth, man, you ain't got no business being in no family family reunion with your with your so called biological family, man. Cause they're a bunch of damn demons, man. And my mother, they set up a family reunion, man. You come, I say, hell no, why not? Cause I ain't coming. I ain't coming. I ain't coming to no goddamn family reunion. I said, I ain't coming to no. I told her I ain't coming to no family reunion with no goddamn heathens. You know? Cause they're heathens, man. Continue on. Go ahead. Yep. The most high forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Yahweh Shai were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Yahweh Shai was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also shall walk. In newness of life, for if we you're a whole different dude, man. You know, I mean, you still do things that you got to do. You know, you still navigate through the world. World, it says using the world and not abusing it, but you don't do the things that you did when you was in the world, man. That's right. One major thing is committing adultery, man. He that committeth adultery lacketh understanding. If you call yourself a pillar in this thing, man, and technically. If you want to get technical, we all adulterers. Why? Because the women that we got <laughs> had been, you know, then somebody, you know, been, done got it already, man. And the only way you're going to get a virgin, man, is if you go young. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and so you damned if you do and you damned if you don't, man. You know? Verse 5. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Now, if we be dead with Yahweh Shai, we believe that we shall also live with him, knowing that Yahweh Shai being raised from the dead dieth no more. Death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he lived, he lived unto the Most High. Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto the Most High through Yahweh Shai our Lord. Now, who wrote that? Paul. The Apostle Paul. Yeah. What did he write in Rome in uh, Romans the seventh chapter? It's not him. Go 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 right down to it, brother. Okay. Go right down to the verse. S start okay. Now after Paul was delivered and Yahweh Shai knocked him off the horse and blinded him for three days, did he still sin? Yeah, because he said it. He he blamed it he blamed it on sin. So what what do you do about that, uh, uh, Nate? What do you do about that, Nate? What do you do about uh, uh like I'm gonna say this again. We're not saying don't keep the Lord, do what you want to do, you're going to be saved anyway. This thing is based upon faith. You do this thing because you believe. Then when you come into the faith, then a guy will tell you, you know, you got to grow a beard. You know, you got to stop eating pork. You, you know, you got to stop. But no, I stopped eating pork because I followed, you know, I was, my father was a Muslim. What about shrimp? Oh, I didn't know that. Well, here's the Lord. Don't eat shrimp. Don't eat certain foods you eat, certain foods. You know, you got to keep this high holy day. You know, you got to keep the day of atonement. All right? So you 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 do that as you come into this thing, man. Let let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind, okay? So th now 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 since you saying you got to keep that law perfectly, you can't break one law, or you're gonna be destroyed. Why did Paul make this 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 uh, uh, statement in uh, 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 Colos Colossians uh, Colossians two and sixteen? This the book. This the book of uh, Colossians. Uh, the second chapter, uh, just bear with me one second, uh, Colossians chapter 2 and uh, verse uh, 16, and it says, Let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of an holy day or of the new moon or of the Sabbath days, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Yahweh Shai. Yeah, because you had God, you had you had uh, Israelites. Oh, there was a big controversy 
going back to Acts 15. Matter of fact, I'm going to go to that. Go to Acts 15. You got it? Okay. You can read Acts Okay. All right. I got it. Matter of fact, I got it right here. Acts 15 and 1. And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except you be circumcised after the man of Moses, you cannot be saved. Oh, oh, wait, oh, wait a minute. Isn't that a law? Yeah. Isn't that the New Testament? The book of Acts? Yeah. Huh? Read, read that again and read on. It says, And certain men which came down from Judea taught the brethren and said, Except you be circumcised after the manner of Moses, you cannot be saved. Right. When therefore Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and disputation with them, they determined that Paul and Barnabas and certain other of them should go up to Jerusalem unto the apostles and elders about this question. It was a big fight that broke out, you know, verbal fight. Oh, yeah, it was, yeah, debate, you can call it, yeah, yeah. And being brought on their way by the church, they passed through, the, through Phenis and Samaria, declaring the conversion of the Gentiles, the Israelite foreigners, and they caused great joy unto all the brethren. Like I said, you got other Israelite groups out there with the camps, and they this is this is a hot potato to these guys, man. They don't want to touch it because it's intricate, but it shouldn't be intricate because we're the apostles. Whatever we say, you you gotta go you gotta go with what we say, man. We're the top guys, man. Arya and you know Masha and Yaquab and them, they were the top guys. Lahab, Yeshia. Now we're the top guys. We're the authorities now. The most high put us in that power seat. <laughs> okay? So you guys that are bucking up against this man, there's something wrong with you. You hate you hate the true men of the most high, man. Because when we confront you about this Cornelius thing, at one time you said, you know, say no, he's an Edomite and Italian Ben. But we don't went so deep on your ass, which really we haven't gone deep, that you don't even want to touch it. You don't even speak on it. Like I said, man, the ocean is vast. But the shallow part, the top part of the ocean, you can swim for miles on the top part of the ocean. That don't mean you're deep, man. You know how you have like a, a person swim from, from Cuba to Florida? You just swim to go to the bottom of the goddamn sea and then do it that way, man. That's called getting going deep. Just because you swim from one part of the water to the other part, you on the you on the surface, man. You got a boat there watching you in case sharks come and bite your ass. Go to the bottom of the goddamn sea and swim. Be like a bottom feeder <laughs> and swim down there, man. You know what that's called? That's called going deep. Like when you go to the pool, that's the deep part. It says the deep, right? See, you niggas don't know how to go deep, but you're good at being shallow and making the people think that you're deep. Ain't nothing deep about you guys. That's why you run from this topic right here. I put the, y'all been accusing me, yeah, it's all I said, that chains went off. I made the video. I came out and said it. Yeah, I said that. I made the video. Where you at? Where the hell are you at? Where you scoff is at? It says, and when they were come to Jerusalem, they were received of the church and of the apostles and elders, and they declared all things that the Most High had done with them, but there rose up certain of the sect of the Pharisees which believed, saying that it was needful to circumcise them and to command them to keep the law of Moses. Which I agree with. Which I agree with. That is the law. But these were Gentiles coming in. So you had to let them come in, get that faith, build himself up. Go ahead. That's why he said, which is the shadow of things to come. Go ahead. And the apostles and elders came together for to consider of this matter. And when they had been much disputing, Peter rose up and said unto them, Men and brethren, you know how that a good while ago the Most High made choice among us that the Gentiles, Israelite foreigners, by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel and believe, beginning with Cornelius. And the Most High, which knoweth the hearts, bear them witness, giving them the Holy Spirit, even as he did unto us. And put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. Now, therefore, why tempt ye the Most High to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples? Come. And put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. The main thing is faith. The main thing is believing. And then the Lord does come in, man. 
the law does come in. Eventually, they have to have to start keeping the law, man. Faith without works. The works.